Welcome back, guys. This is time number four of me trying to get this recording done. And uh, quick time shutting off on me. So short from shutting down my computer, which would be what I do the next time, um, I want to show you what we're going to build. We're going to build this image gallery. So in this image gallery, notice we have um, the images. They're aligned. They're also responsive. So if we move this, um, they respond to whatever device we're viewing. Um, right now, they have padding in between. Um, and they're aligned really, really nicely, and that's what we're going to do. Um, also, when you click on one of these, um, it's going to open up in its new window, and it's going to be the larger picture. So what I've done is if we look in the Files panel, you will see that um, I have two more images inside of here. We have this Jellyfish and Diver Large and this Jellyfish and Diver Small. They're the same image, but what I did was I went into Photoshop and cropped the large image down, saved that one for web. I cropped it to about 200 by 200 so that I can have even uh, spacing. And then here's the large image at its normal size. Okay, so first things first, um, we want to start from our template. So I'm going to go to File, uh, New. And here's our template. This should be in here for us. Let's choose Create. All right, so inside of the template, inside of our H2, I'm just going to name that one Images. Then I'm going to go down into Main. And let's see what title I want to put in Main. I'm going to type C, Life, uh, Image, Gallery. All right, so C, Life, Image, Gallery. Having that, I'm going to save this one. Notice it's on Title 6. That's because... I keep trying to do this and uh, the program keeps quitting on me. So I'm going to do save as and I'm going to name this one um, clife.html. Trying to keep up with our naming convention. So C life. Do. All right. So let's see. Um, did I name it? Okay. I saved it. Yes. All right. So clife.html. So first things first. With this one, I want to change this one, uh, the title. So I'm going to name this one C Life. Uh, I'll name it C Life Gallery. Makes sense. C Life Gallery. Let me save. Because with this program, you have to save every step of the way. All right. So, Sea Life Gallery being in here, I'm going to hit, um, hit it to be in here. Now, I'm going to hit space because I know that I'm going to put some information in between the paragraph. Uh, that's where I'm going to put the images. I'm going to put a class on this paragraph because um, I know that I'm going to have a picture gallery and I want to target. Um, this particular paragraph that the images are going to sit in so, be, so that I have a container around the pictures that I can control. So with that said, I'm going to put my cursor inside of the P. I'm going to do a space. I'm going to put class equals and then quote, quote. So inside of these quotes, I want to type pics gallery. All right, so far so good. Now, I want to go ahead and grab a picture. Now, I'm about to do something that's probably going to blow your mind. All right, so remember I told you that uh, Dreamweaver is a drag-and-drop program. It's kind of cool. Or I can drag it inside of here, but I want to make sure that it goes where I want it to go, so I'm going to drag it here. So now, I have um, one of my images, right? Let me source Jellyfish and Diver. Um, it tells me the size and the height. So there are a few more things that I want to do with this. One, I said we wanted to link and open up in its own page. So I'm going to click on the image. Now I know that the image is highlighted because all of it's highlighted over here, the whole image tag. And to link something, we have to go down here to link. And in the link panel, I want to uh, link it to that large jellyfish. So now notice it has the large jellyfish with the A-H-R-E-F. Okay, so it's complying. And I want it to open in a blank page. So I'm going to target it. So I'm going to hit a target. And you can't see the bottom part. Oh my goodness, let me move this up some. 
Okay. So I'm going to go down here to target and I'm going to target blank. Blank target targets it to where it opens up and